Hello everyone. Today I'm going to review and install the Anko Profile Beam Technology Wiper on a Kia Sorento 2014. Uh, these are bought from Amazon and uh, they're fairly well value priced for a beam style technology wiper. Uh, the 24 inch is uh, 972 on uh, Amazon and the 20 inch wiper is uh, 872 on Amazon. The prices will vary but I will put a link to these uh, both of these wipers on the video description. Uh, now, if you're putting these on a uh, Kia Sorento, the 2014 model anyway, you will need a 24 inch wiper for the uh, driver's side and a 20 inch wiper for the passenger side. And that goes for any wiper that you wanna put on the Kia Sorento. So uh, just remember when you're ordering wipers for it that to get a 24 and a 20. Now, uh, these uh, wipers uh, are claiming to have an advanced rubber compound on the on the blade and looking at the blade I can see that it has sort of a silvery sheen to it so it's not your standard black rubber they did put some sort of coating or some sort of uh, chemical difference on that uh, uh, on that rubber uh, blade so that's one thing about these uh, wipers second thing about these wi wipers is they come with an airfoil or a spoiler on top of the blade and that's claimed to keep the uh, wipers uh, you know a, the air pressure on your windshield to actually keep the wipers uh, more snugly down or pressed down on your windshield. Um, you know, not sure whether that's true or not. I will be doing a secondary vi video on both these wipers uh, for their rain performance. Um, also, another thing about these uh, wipers is they come with uh, uh, two sets of uh, mounting hardware, or you know, more or less, they become universal with either one of them. And the the this piece here. The, uh, the one that's inside the actual uh, packaging, uh, I will not be using. It's for the rod type uh, of uh, wiper arm. And uh, since I don't have it on the Kia Sorento, I don't need to uh, put it on. But uh, they basically, uh, you know, they, they swap out and you can put this one, on, this hardware on the uh, wiper without issue. Now, the, wipe, the, the locking arm, uh, sorry, the locking mechanism that comes with the uh, wiper for the Kia Sorento is, is uh, kind of unique. It, it has a double lock on it. So uh, I'm gonna you know, zoom into this uh, uh, clip uh, next and show you how it works. And I'm gonna show you here on the table prior to put it on the, putting it on the vehicle as it makes it easier to show you actually how it operates. Here's a close up of the mounting hardware or the mounting clip. And there's, it's a two step operation to actually uh, get this ready to be mounted on the, uh, actually uh, yeah, to get it mounted on the wiper arm. First step is you need to uh, unlock the primary, uh, the primary lock, and I'll show you how to do that. The way you see here, it has an arrow pointing up, and the way to unclip, unlock this uh, lock is to actually press down on the corner here, uh, which will release the, the clip, and then lift it up. And as you can see there, at that point, it opens up. And after it opens up, as you can see here, um, then you're ready to put the, uh, the hook uh, on your um, wiper arm through the clip until it clicks into the secondary lock, which is right here, okay? And I will show you also how to take them off the uh, wiper arm too, so that uh, when they do wear out, you'll know how to do that. So basically, uh, I'm not sure why they put a double lock on there, but it's kind of nice. It's, it's, uh, it, it actually makes sure that the wiper will never come off. If it doesn't lock here, this top lock will keep it all uh, secure and, move, and from moving off the actual wiper arm. You don't want that happening. Now, I guess another uh, b benefit of having this double lock is that it, your wipers will be a little harder to, for somebody to steal off your car. So uh, next, we're going to mount them on the uh, Kia Sorento 2014, and I'll show you what the procedure for doing that is. Now we're ready to mount the actual uh, uh, wipers. I've already removed the uh, Trico Force wipers I had before on these arms and you'll notice one thing and I can't stress this enough is that I have a towel underneath the wiper arms uh, and I put that there after I removed the wipers uh, for one reason one reason only these arms are uh, spring loaded okay so basically once you have them up they're like they're, they're you know ready to snap if if you accidentally hit them and have them uh, strike the windshield, they can hit the windshield hard enough to crack it uh, or scratch it. 
And, uh, and when you're moving these a little bit, the other, you know, one of the arms can actually move the other arm a little bit against the glass and scratch it as well. So take a towel, fold it over like I have it here, and leave it on the windshield until you're done. Uh, primarily for safety reasons. And when you're handling the wiper, keep your hand on the wiper because, you know, regardless, you don't want this snapping down on your windshield and cracking it, okay? So that's why the towel's here. I recommend you do that. Next, I'm gonna show you how to mount the actual um, uh, Anko uh, wipers on the windshield and the we're going to start with the uh, 24 inch on the on the driver's side all right so you release the, the secondary lock here and uh, at this point uh, this secondary lock goes towards the top of the hook and while holding the arm basically you just slide it in on, over top like that and then put the uh, primary lock down and lock it down and then make sure test fit it uh, or test it to, see, to make sure it's locked in nicely and it does lock in very nice that uh, locking me mechanism is, is really uh, truly secure and I like it a lot so after you're done uh, securing it and testing it just put it down on the tile again and then do the, uh, the secondary arm or the passenger side arm the passenger side wiper is the exact same procedure uh, basically make sure the door is open on your wiper the primary lock or secondary lock here and slide it up through the hook like so and then lock the uh, the secondary lock and make sure test fit it make sure that's nice and secure and it is so at this point just lower it down onto the towel and then remove the towel and uh, test your wipers and that's how you install the Anko Profile uh, Beam Wiper on a Kia Sorento 2014. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay. Again, thank you very much for your time and watching.